Welcome back guys to a new video here on the channel. This video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a bunch of trainers, simple native trainer, menu, and enhanced native trainer. I'm going to show you guys how to install all of these. You don't need to install all of them, but basically why I'm having all of them in the same video is because you guys can have options. You can choose which one you like. Which one you like the UI or the menu style or which one you like the options although a simple native trainer and menu is definitely for me it's a must have because there's some you know map mods or building mods you can also call it but it's called map mods like houses garages and uh, dealerships and stuff like that um, that you load with menu um, their built-in spooner and that spooner mode you can move stuff you can spawn stuff and yeah stuff like that so that is yeah I like it and this one simple native trainer there's so many options and it's so easy to use it's simple and if you want to change clothing and stuff like that I think it's also must have and has native trainer I haven't used that much but if you guys want to install it, I will show you guys how. So, first of all, go to the link in my description. Watch the how to install ScriptocV and ScriptocV.net um, videos. Or the vi yeah, video. There's only one showing both. Alright, so then you got your setup. So you want to go to the other links. And for Simple Native Trainer, Menya, and Enhanced Native Trainer. You hit download and then download again on all of them. You will also need um, WinRAR. And sorry, also for menu, you'll get sent to an external website, GitHub. Go to file. Sorry. Wait, wait. Um, can we, uh, okay. <laughs> you want to click. Um, so it's going to send you here. So you want to click go down and it says download. And then you click this releases thing. And then here, uh, you'll get sent here. Or I'm just going to link this thing down below, alright? So you guys will already be here. Um, and then you want to click menu sp.zip. There you go. I don't know. We'll see what I link. I If I remember, I'm going to link this. Um, so you want to click menu sp. But also, you will need WinRAR. But if you fo uh, follow my ScripticV and ScripticV.net video, you'll know about that already. So just go to WinRAR.com and then click download WinRAR. It says that you need a license for it, but you can, and it says that your free test period is over, but you can literally use it. I've been using it for half a year. And it says, each, the only thing is each time you open a directory, this will come up. Please purchase WinRAR. And who cares? You don't need to listen to that. So yeah, you just want to open these folders. And then also, if you want Enhanced Native Trainer, you can click download on that as well. There isn't that many like fun options on that. Or I haven't actually used it, so I don't know. Um... But you want to open all of these. And if you follow my other tutorial, you know what the main directory is of GCA. Um, so you want to go to that. I said how to locate that in the other video. And you will need to watch it to how to install Scriptic V. So, um, here you just want to for enhanced. Or no, I'm going to show enhanced native trainer last. So for Trainer V, or Simple Native Trainer, it is called. Or It says Simple Trainer, then here it says Trainer V, but everybody calls it Simple Native Trainer. So um, the file's called TrainerV.ASI, and I and I, you want to drag and drop into your main directory. I'm not going to do it because in the I and I, your f like key bindings and or not the key you can actually change if the menu key is f3 if you change it to 115 it's blah blah yeah 
yeah, it's, there's a bunch of stuff here. <laughs> and then there's like, you can choose if firearm ammo and stuff like that. It's going to be on whenever you start the game and stuff. It's complicated. I can't really explain it. But like, if you want to have real time whenever you, each time you start a game without having to open the trainer and turning it on. That's what you gotta do. So, for Menya, you wanna take this folder called Menya Stuff and Menya.asi. To select both, you just control, hold control and click. And then you wanna drag and drop into your main directory. And also, there's an dot, a dot .ini file here. So, I'm not gonna do it, but you wanna drag and drop these two files into your main directory. For Enhanced Native Trainer, if you guys are not gonna install it, Go ahead and launch the game. You want to take Enhanced Native Trainer and Enhanced Native Trainer.asi, drag and drop them into your directory. There is INI here, but you can just change that in game. Then vehicle previews. Um, that's obviously for like small pictures when you spawn. The cars. That doesn't matter. You don't need to check on that. But now you can go ahead, launch the game. I'll see you guys in game, and we're gonna see if it worked. So we're in game. It may be a black screen for a while. Or actually, I'm gonna put it in window because I don't want to risk that. It is a black screen. It is that one I record in GTA in full screen. All right. So um, to open Simple Native Trainer, you press F3. All right. So this pulls up. And also, if you guys want this basketball jersey, I don't know how to install it. Tutorials up on my channel. So this pulls up. There's options. So basically, how to navigate? You you have to have a numpad. Otherwise, you can change the controls to your arrow keys and enter and backspace or whatever. But I don't really know how to do that. You're gonna have to search for the keys. Uh, go into trainerv.ini and then search for the keys. And then you gotta search on Google on like key numbers or whatever because it says like 113 it doesn't say f3 you know but um to navigate down you press numpad 2 numpad 8 is up numpad 5 is like enter 9 is to change between these sides or 9 is to change to the right 7 to the left 3 and 1 Thing does not have a function uh, six is to go to change pages if there's multiple pages six and four um, and yeah that's the controls you'll make sure your num lock is on by the way um, so here you can do a lot of different stuff you can do never want to gravity on or off like I don't know how that works, so you can increase your wanna level, you can clear your wanna level, you can set and freeze your wanna level, you can set maximum wanna level, like the maximum you can get, you can set go through doors, or like move forward, that is, so if I wanna go through this, I just do that, you know, so now I just glitched, oh, look at Sexy cars! Oh my god! And then you can take cops don't dispatch, or if you murder someone, they don't come. Come, okay. Um, please ignore player. Enable disable clock. Like you can have a clock up in the left, as you can see. You can have a speedometer. I can demonstrate that for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna unlock this car. I also have. Installation tutorial on for that. It's easy down in the right. I have multiple ones. Um, so that one. Um, and then you can have it in miles per hour. It comes in the top right. You can make yourself invisible. So the lock thing. Um, I got an installation tutorial for that too. You can make yourself invisible. Mobile radio. So you can listen to the radio. Display coordinates. Up in the, you see. Um, unlimited ability. Air brake, no idea what that is. Uh, okay, you're stuck. I don't know. No noise. Um, and fast swim, fast run. 
and stuff like that hide hud the add or deduct money so you, you just type the amount you want and stuff like that and then you oh um to go back you press numpad plus and then on the other page there's a lot i recommend you guys to disable key bindings um and then go to save settings to trainer v dot i and i um that was what i was talking about before and also reveal full map is nice out um so basically God. oops and then, oh no i'm not gonna do that because that oh yeah um and also that you hear that different explosion sound that is because i got realistic gun sounds yeah those cars exploded and uh i got a tutorial um so show for Senkudo and prison on map sit down or stand up then you gotta be to close to an object but like key bindings so it is if you press like delete it does like you can shortcut to um a certain location but there's so many other ones that it's just annoying like if you press i don't remember what you know key bindings but it spawns like people that want to kill you and stuff but when you've done all your settings you can go ahead and export yourself here we got vehicle stuff to the pages here you we got bodyguard and bodyguard and pet spawning vehicle spawning here if you got any added vehicles or add-on vehicles you go into this menu and then mission help model spawning or clothes menu object spawning teleporting teleporting save time and then you can sync it to your system time um weapons you can get our weapons we got weather um so that's simple native trainer for menu you want to press f8 once this is going to come up press it twice this will come up and also to open that spooner thing you press f9 and you can fly around like this you can grab stuff and you can rotate them e and you see this you can delete them if you right click on them you can for an example freeze them in place you can lower their health you can make them invisible fireproof on fire invisible and collision so they just fall through the map um you can make so they have zero gravity and stuff so then we got settings here you can change the fonts um and colors themes misc options and also um the navigation is the same but Oh, sorry. You can also use your arrow keys here. And enter and backspace. I think it's called backspace. You know what I mean. Free cam. Yeah. Um, top down view. There's a bunch of different stuff here. Like, there's so much. Object spooner. Here you can go into spooner. Spooner mode is this thing. You can change the world speed. You can pause clock time. You can sync with system time here too. Um, there's weather options um, where you can also make your gravity level to the sun or whatever you want this is really fun because when you're driving a car and also planes just go down um, and then you can put it to Pluto and stuff like that so everything flows around floats around um but if you have earth or um sun and you drive you're gonna drive pretty fast i think we got rain puddles multiplier obviously when it rains the puddles ocean wave strength wind speed snow on terrain you can change the weather i don't think there's christmas snow or is it snow maybe that's i don't think there is so i'm just gonna put it to extra sunny it is a bit I don't know. And then the weapon, teleport options, vehicle options. So here you can spawn vehicles. Like for an example, let's just spawn this. I don't know what car I haven't replaced. The nine, the nine hundred R. Yeah. So then also here you can go to menu customs. And then here you can mod your cars if they have tuning. That is. And then you can go to Benice. Benice. Um. 
and then you can change horn, suspension, paints, neon light. You can open and close the doors. And then you can open and close the windows. Like there's a bunch of stuff you can do. Crew emblem, you can put um you can, here there's extras. Some cars have extras, alright? And then you can enable or disable turbo. And then there's some fun stuff. You can obviously change it here. Engine audio. So you hear this now? Let's make it adder. This tornado. Exit one. So you can make whatever car sound like this one. What? Like you see, you can change that, and then we got horsepower multiplier. So yeah. Um. Let's just make that a hundred. Let's make this a hundred. Let's make this 2,400, and it will go a bit faster. So this is basically that's what's fun and I really like about menu, menu. Um, so you see, but obviously it's gonna red line because, or it this thing doesn't, but yeah, that's probably because I got a mod. Otherwise, it's the gear, it has to do with the gear ratio stuff and all. Oh, nice. Um, my game crashed. That's because I got so many fucking mods installed. So, so, okay. Um, I will be back when I'm back in game. Um, yeah, that's so annoying. I got so many mods, so it literally crashes. But I will be back in game. And sorry for, I don't know why I'm explaining everything so much, but you guys can go ahead and check them out yourself. But I'll be back in game to show you guys Enhanced Native Trainer. Okay, I'm back. So, to open, oh, sorry, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, what the fuck is air brake mode? Oh, that's the same. I'm gonna be fully honest, I have no idea what the key binding is for that. So I'm gonna be back once I figure that out, or once I see it. So I figured it out, it's F4, but we got a problem. Because you may have to like hold it. I don't. So, um. Here we go. Um. So this is kind of a problem because it opens. I don't know why, but it opens. Simple and native, tra native trainer at the same time, which is not good. Uh, maybe if you go like player, player appearance, and then save the appearances, and then you just do like that. But you can go ahead and change that. I'm obviously not gonna have it. But here, there's a bunch of different stuff, and I was, I'm also not gonna show you guys more of menu. So we got player, add or remove cash. Um, then fireproof, no fall damage, invincible heat, player, player appearance. Locations, you can teleport to marker, weapons. Like it is basically the same as all of the other ones. So you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. I don't like it, to be honest. There's a bunch of different ones that is better. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Hope it helped. And also don't forget to subscribe. Join my Discord server down below. Thank you. Goodbye.